In my previous example regarding the binomial distribution, I generated a probability distribution function in Minitab Express that represented the number of girls out of 10 births, assuming that boys and girls are equally likely. So I had generated um, a column that represents x, the number of girls out of 10 births, and the binomial distri distribution starts at zero, which represents none. So this would be the case of no girls out of 10 births, and it stops at all 10 girls out of 10 births. Going back to my probability distribution menu, I had generated the entire uh, probability distribution table and I could pluck out individual probabilities, meaning that I can look at the probability x takes on an exact value. But oftentimes we have problems such as problems regarding less than, at most, more than, and greater than. So I want to go over how to answer those questions. So let's find the probability of getting less than six girls. In probability notation, that would be the probability x is less than six, using the less than symbol. And for the binomial situation, the case of equality matters in particular for a discrete probability distribution and when our sample size is pretty small, whether or not we include the value um, is going to make a difference in our answer. So when I say the probability of getting less than six girls, that does not include the six. So if I want to look at the probability density menu, that's going to be the sum of the probabilities, the individual probabilities, 0 through 6. I'm sorry, 0 through 5, because 6 is not included. So the probability x is less than 6 will be the same thing as saying that the probability is less than or equal to 5. So rather than doing the um, addition, from x is equal to 0 up to x is equal to 5, I could use something called the cumulative distribution, and that's the CDF menu. So if I click on the CDF menu and select cumulative distribution function, I want to um, use my column of values for my input and number of girls is my column, and I'm not working with the standard normal distribution. I want to click on that down arrow and select binomial. The number of trials again is n, and the probability of success in a single trial was 0.5 because we're assuming boys and girls are equally likely. So after I click on OK, I want to take a peek at the cumulative probability distribution table. You can think of a cumulative probability as a running total. So what I'm interested in is not the probability x takes on a particular value, but the sum of the probabilities up to a particular value. Hopefully it would make sense to say that the probability in terms of being cumulative of x being less than or equal to 10 is going to be 1 because you can think of this as a running total. So for example, if I'm looking at x is equal to 2, the probability of getting uh, two or fewer girls is going to be the sum of the probability x is equal to 0 plus the probability x is equal to 1 but the cumulative probability distribution does that summation for you. So right here, this 0.0547 represents the sum of when x is equal to 0 plus x is equal to 1 plus x is equal to 2, the sum of all three of those probabilities. So getting back to my original question, what is the probability x is less than 6? Well, that's going to be the probability x is less than or equal to 5. So it's going to be this 
answer right here. This 0.623 encompasses the probability of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 altogether.